Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. Now today is a very different kind of day because I still have all five builders working. Actually, at this time tomorrow, that uh, giant bomb that we upgraded last episode will be done. And then that night, the Dark Looks Drill will be done. And then the Queen will wake up in three days. Six days for the barracks, eight days for the dark barracks. And so today, the main focus is actually going to be this laboratory. And um, it is going to be an epic upgrade. I'm, I've actually, so I was sitting there thinking, really, I should upgrade war troops. And my favorite, number one favorite war troop is actually hogs. Um, you guys have seen in my uh, 5v5 war videos, and I did one yesterday, I think, that my hog rider is my favorite troop in the game. However... I don't have enough dark elixir for that. So we're going to have to focus on getting some dark elixir specifically for the lab. Um, but I do have a lot of elixir right now. And so I was thinking electro dragons. That would be nice. Oh, wait, I still haven't unlocked the electro dragons. So what else could I upgrade that would be beneficial? And I thought there's several different upgrades that I could do. All elixir based, by the way, like the giants would be amazing. The balloons would be amazing as well. We got the baby dragons. Um, I don't really care about upgrading the dragons of the P.E.K.K.A. Wall Breaker would be kind of cool. Um, and then of course the spells, we still have the freeze spell. We still have the clone spell. That's pretty much all of our choices with the elixir. And so after some debate and some thinking, I decided to go the direction of fix that engineer because I think we just upgraded the balloons on there. And I thought, Hey, balloons are awesome. You know, they're very powerful and it's so worth it. So let's upgrade the balloons right now. Cause I've got almost full elixir uh, storage and I don't want to waste any of it. So we got to spend it now starting off the video, right? Upgrading the balloons, going to level seven, 11 and a half day upgrade. I hate the halves. Cause like it would be app. It would be midnight if I decided to film this finishing, but that's fine. That's okay. 9.5 million elixir in three, two, one, bam. And I've got the book of fighting. So here's my plan. My plan is to try to get some elixir and book this within, you know, a day. If, if I get lucky, I might not get lucky, but the, the idea would be the boost real good today. Um, get a ton of elixir, book this and start something else. Am I going to do it? Is it going to work out? I don't know. But some other thing to consider is that I got a uh, book of heroes from the trader, 500 gems. While if you were to gem the hero time, it would be 999. So I figured half price. That's cool. So I've now got this book of heroes and uh, we'll be getting another one from climb game soon. And now I've got 71,000 elixir. <laughs> so I need elixir. So I'm using Barch again today. We're back to Barch for a little while. Um, I've got two um, dark elixir drills to upgrade. And then of course, then the only elixir upgrades left are walls which you know you don't have to use elixir for walls you could use gold for walls and then also you have the grand warden which is kind of a big deal and lastly the laboratory so definitely still need a lot of elixir and i'm not sure how long i'll be sticking with barch but i was using miners for a while so it's nice to switch it up a little bit so ooh, wow six hundred thousand. dang this is one of those situations where i wish i had like electro dragons electro dragons could take that base on probably but not barch. So let me find a beautiful base that we could barch and snag a ton of loot. Hey, okay. So this base has a ton of golden elixir, not a lot of dark elixir. And that's something that I see a lot. It's like the dead bases that people skip are the ones that don't have a lot of dark because their dark elixir drills aren't upgraded. Now I'm not going to be picky because I need the elixir. So let's go ahead and um, wrap this base up. This is one of those traditional barch bases where all the loot is kind of surrounding the entire base. And I'm going to use my index fingers and my thumbs and just spam. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's that's good stuff. And then, of course, we've got our heroes. So like if our barch somehow misses a mine or collector, then I can use my king to do some tanking, possibly use my warden to do some shooting over the wall obviously i'd prefer my queen because she does a lot more damage but she's upgrading and it's worth it she's going level 45 she's going to have a new royal cloak ability and it's going to be awesome so it looks like we may have an issue where we have an elixir collector down here uh archer okay there's there's not a lot in there okay we don't have to worry about that gold mine really but there's a lot of elixir in there and there's a lot of gold in here now and obviously, most of the time, I would default to the elixir immediately, but it's a little bit out of the way. I'm not sure if the king could get there. I don't know. 
You guys won't. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just go for it. All right, no problem. No problem. Let's go. So the king and the warden are now in. Hopefully the king goes for a level eight wall. Why do you hit the level 10 wall next to the level eight wall? I think that Supercell should seriously consider changing that because for some reason heroes always go for the higher level wall. I don't understand why that's a thing. But hey, at least at least he got to the elixir collector. That was awesome. That was really awesome. And now this warden. Oh, wow. If this warden takes out this cannon, he probably won't. No, it's got full health. Yeah, he's totally going down. Right. I was about to say if he gets this cannon down and he didn't. Um, but if he had, then it would have been an easy. Look at that. There's no defenses around here. It would have been an easy 50%. We would have at least gotten a loot bonus. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case this time around. As soon as these archers break through the wall, that cannon's going to snipe them down. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. And check out the gains, guys. Check out, even though we lost. And that's probably okay, because it did take me a little while to find this dead base, which means I'm a little too high in the trophies. Probably want to drop a little bit. But 463,000 elixir, and Bart just like 100,000, so that's awesome. Half a million gold, that is solid. 450 dark elixir as well. That's not so solid, but it is uh, it is decent. So, let's check out a replay right quick, guys. Um, I had a... Well, that's a really good one, actually. That one is too... Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Four, look at those Look at those dark elixir gains, guys. John Legend at the top, 3,970 dark elixir. That name I can't read in the middle, 4,050 dark elixir. The other name at the bottom I can't read, 4,050 dark elixir once again. All of that was about a day ago, and it was beautiful. Um, I think we will check out which one is the most. I think this one is the most. Let's check out the bottom raid, guys. Another dead... Town Hall 11. So it's not that I'm too high up in the... Oh, that, that's that's miners. Oh, I think I actually did that in a video I recorded. I think this is in the previous episode. I'll have to double check. And if it is, then I'll have to record another replay. But um, guys, yeah, it's uh, spam style uh, miners, basically. Um, <laughs> just throwing down the miners all the way around the base. No spells or a couple of spells. I really want to grab the elixir out of this collector right here. So it's pretty awesome. Actually, no, I don't think I did. I don't think I showed this video or this uh, attack in a video because yesterday I didn't make any videos. I didn't record anything yesterday. So yeah, no, this is this is total legit replay. Awesome, cool. Well, anyway, yeah. So that was a really great find, guys. And this kind of proves in Master League Two of all places that there's dead bases everywhere. I mean, even if you're in Champion League or Titan League, or even Legend League, you can find dead bases. The odds of you finding a dead base get lower as you go up, but at the same time, um, the loot bonus kind of, you know, helps with that. So check this out. I'm in like tons of loot. 4,050 Dark Elixir is ridiculous for miners. So basically, miners is an expensive barge, okay? They're both Elixir-based armies. Miners, you have to have heal spells, really, if you want to do what they're good at, and that's getting into the middle of the base. Barch requires no spells, and that's why they're so cheap. I'll go ahead and show you right now. So, mine is in the middle, 383. Barch, 114. So, one-third, less than one-third of the price for Barch. And that's why we stick with it. And that's why so many people in the Clash community, I didn't realize this, but this is so true. So many people in the Clash community only Barch all the time. They never do anything different. Which... I, I might do if I didn't have a YouTube channel because, you know, I like to try to mix it up and bring different ta strategies, but I also really want to do what works, you know? So it's, yeah, it's 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 tough. Look at this. Look at this easy. Ooh, and we need to lose a few trophies, don't we? Ah, uh, let's let's see. Maybe we can snipe this drill or this. Oh, come on, Expo. Leave me alone. Expo. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to. No, stop it. I'm trying to target the... Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this gold storage down right quick. Just give me a minute. I'm trying to snipe the Dark Elixir drill without using that many archers. That would be ideal. So this gold storage will go down. Hopefully they just turn. They don't step up. If they step up, I'm afraid this queen's going to... Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, and now the... Uh... Oh, now there's a Tesla. All right, well, let's just... Let's... It's still free Dark Elixir. All right, super, super cheap. Let's poison this queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get down, queen. Get out of here. And then the archers and a few barbarians snipe a ton of dark elixir. That's awesome. You can have my trophies. I was just saying I've got too many, so you're welcome. You're welcome, my dude. I'm going to go and close out. I'm going to let you have it, but 2,900 dark elixir just like that. I need that for the next hero upgrade, right? I don't remember how much the queen's upgrade was, but I know that the king upgrade... Where's the king? King's upgrade's 173,000. I'm only at 51. 
So that's pretty bad. But yeah, now now I need to go find a good proper Barch base um, because because I just do. So I'll be right, right back once I find it. Here we go. Okay, so Zandre's Zine. It was that Sean. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's trying to say. But here we go. Um, another wonderful little Dead Town 11. This one's actually got a decent amount of Dark Elixir. But the problem is that they're all... All the Dark Elixir is behind a wall. So we might struggle a little. Should we... Okay, here's an idea. Maybe we should... No, it's not going to work. It's not gonna work, and they're not even upgraded. Let's just let's just spam it. Let's just have fun. I don't. Uh, the problem, the, the reason why it's not gonna work is because I just used a bunch of my barbarians and archers, my barch, for the other uh, base with all that dark elixir sitting on the outside. So we don't have a full army anyway. It's gonna be really really hard to be able to snipe everything off and still get the dark elixir. And we might get some. Like I'm seeing some dark elixir go down right here, getting a couple pot shots off. Um, none over here because of that stupid dark barracks is in the way and this over here same thing kind of stuff is in the way So we didn't get any dark. We got a couple shots off on that dark elixir But what I came for was the gold and the elixir and that is what we got 400,000 Plus for both and no no dark elixir, but you know, we, we don't barge for dark elixir I just got lucky and found that one guy that was basically pushing by giving away dark elixir and hey I'll I'll, I'll indulge him that works great so, anyway, we are now at the end of the video. It's such an awkward ending. I'm, I'm so used to upgrading something at the end, but I had to start the lab immediately. So, that's good. Uh, we're now sitting on a mil almost a million elixir. I do have some loot in the treasury, but I don't want to bring, like, I don't want to accept or collect the treasury because it's the best storage. I think people can only take 2% or 3% of what's in the treasury. While if it's in your storage, I believe they can take 5%. So it's better to keep your, loot, your treasury if you can until I have a builder. As soon as I have a builder tomorrow, then I might accept my treasury and put some loot into walls or something. Or we might even make a video. You never know. Uh, but yeah, balloons are now upgrading, guys. And that is exciting because they're just epic beasts and I love them. <laughs> And guys, that is going to have to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you all again next time.